The overall goal of this procedure is to fabricate superconducting microwave resonators and characterize their scattering parameters. This method enables one to design and implement superconductor resonator-based instrumentation through the characterization of superconducting lines on dielectric substrates. For example, the internal quality factors, loss fractions, and kinetic inductance fractions can be assessed. The main advantage of these techniques is that they allow realization of superconducting resonators on both sides of a silicon substrate, which enables precise measurements. The implications of this technique extend to a wide range of applications, including kinetic inductance detectors for the detection of faint astrophysical signals, as well as quantum computing applications and materials characterization. To begin, onto a freshly cleaned silicon on insulator wafer, spin coat a photoresist layer at 4000 RPM for 30 seconds. Next, electron beam deposit germanium onto the wafer. Next, spin on a layer of thinned positive photoresist at 2000 RPM for 30 seconds, and then bake the wafer on a 110 degrees Celsius hot plate for one minute. Now, use a mask aligner to expose the photoresist and spray on the Develop Resist TMAH-based solution. The next step is to reactive ion etch the fabricated germanium layer with sulfur hexafluoride and oxygen plasma at 70 watts. Now, ash the underlying photoresist layer with oxygen plasma inside a reactive ion...